Alright, in this short tutorial we're just going to take a cube and work with the extrude tool and model out a simple plane. Okay, I'm going to drop a cube here in the center. I'm going to hit F on my keyboard to frame up on that. Let's go ahead and hit W on the keyboard and just lift this up off the grid a little bit like that. Okay, I'm going to hit R on the keyboard and scale this now. I'm just going to scale this along the z-axis and if we want to just go over here and maybe punch in 2.5 and maybe widen it out a little bit let's just do 1.2 okay and we're going to extrude this out in multiple directions here and there's a technique that we can do with the extrude tool that will allow us to do that. I'm going to go to face. This is right mouse click and I'm selecting face. I'm dragging a marquee over the entire cube and then I'm going to shift and click on this bottom face here that deselects it. Okay, so I've just got the upper five faces selected. I'm going to come up to my shortcut here out on the shelf for extrude and click that. I've got symmetry on. Let me go over here and make sure I've got that turned off. We don't want symmetry on. I'll come back out here to my channel box. And I've got this window here that comes up with my extrude. So right now, if I were to pull this out, we don't really see much of a difference other than here on the bottom we are getting some additional edges. But if I use this tool right here and under this area where it says keep faces together, I've got an arrow here so if I click on that and I drag to the left and I turn keep faces together off, you can see what happens out here that each one of these faces is extruding separately. Okay, and this is what we want. So I'm just going to pull this out a little bit further and what I'm pulling on is the local translate Z. Okay, let's pull that out to just about one. Great. Alright, from here I'm just going to select this front face right here, the face in the front. This is going to be the nose of our plane. I'm going to extrude that again, pull that out, click on the cube up here which activates scale and I'm going to scale this down uniformly. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just push this down and angle it a little bit. Great. Alright, let's select this face over here and shift select the one on the opposite side. These are going to be the wings. Okay, let's extrude again. And again, I'm going to pull these out. And let's go ahead and drag them all the way out here. And I'm also going to scale them down. So they're scaling down on both sides. I'm also going to scale them in the x-axis and push them back a little bit. And I'm going to pull them down, but if I try to do that right now, we're getting a little issue over here where this side's going up and this side is going down. Let's hit Z and undo that. This is happening because our manipulator is out here on this end of the object and what we want to do is center it over the object. So let's click on this little toggle right here. This is centering this over world space. And now we can use the Y translate and push this down. Okay. I'm going to add a subdivision right here and with that subdivision I'm going to come back, select edge, double click on this edge, that sends a loop all the way around and I'm going to shift double click this edge and do the same thing over here. Now I'm going to hit W on my keyboard and I'm just going to pull up on that a little bit. This is going to create a little bit of a, an arch for our wing. Great. I'm also going to pull it up a little bit just so we get a little bit of a curve happening right here too. Great. Let's go ahead and shape the top now. 
I'm going to select this and actually push it down a little bit here. I'm also going to scale it this direction as well as this. Great. Now let's do our extrude and I'm going to pull it up. Okay, I'm going to angle it back a little bit and I'm also going to scale this. Okay, we can do the same thing here and add a division. Okay, I'm going to right mouse click and go to Edge, double click on this, and there's a few things I can do. I can angle this by pulling it forward. I can also scale it and make it a little bit wider. I can do something like that. All right. Let's come to the back here now and select face. First of all, I'm going to just scale it down a little bit so it begins to narrow out back here. Let's create an exhaust area by extruding this first. I'm going to use offset and click and drag that and this is going to scale this in evenly. What we're doing right now is creating some thickness here. I think it's maybe a little bit too thick. Let's hit 0.1 and type that in here. That looks a little better. Okay, let's go ahead and extrude this one more time. And now I'm going to use the local translate Z and I'm going to push it in. You can see it's applying a negative number here. Okay, that looks good. Let's do the same up here and create some engines. I'm selecting both of these faces and I'm hitting extrude. I'm going to do the same thing with offset. I'm just going to click and drag a little bit until we get 0.1. You can also type that in here and hit enter. Okay, now we've got some thickness for the wall here. Let's go ahead and extrude again and grab the local translate Z and push that back. Great. I'm going to right mouse click and go back to object mode. The nose here looks a little funny. We can maybe work on this a little bit more. Let's select edge. Double click this edge here. Let's use the move tool and maybe push it down a little bit. We could also make this a little bit more narrow. Same thing here. Okay. I also feel like it's a little blunt on the end here. Let's select the face and narrow that down a little bit more. Okay. Let's go ahead and select the face here and here and extrude this area. Great. We're going to use that same offset again and let's go ahead and take that to point two. Great. I'm going to extrude one more time I'm going to raise this up a little bit. Okay, that's our cockpit area. Alright, let's come out here and go back to object mode. And we have our low poly model done now. Let's hit 3 on the keyboard and we'll get a little bit different view of what this looks like. So this is what happens when we smooth out a low poly model and create additional resolution. Hitting 3 on the keyboard doesn't actually increase the resolution. It's just giving you a preview of what it's going to look like when you do smooth this out. Let's go back to 1 on our keyboard. Let's save our scene out under File, Save Scene As. This has brought me out into a different project directory that I don't want to be in. I'm just going to arrow up and under Projects, I'm going to right mouse click and say New Folder. I'm going to call this Plain Demo. Okay, I'm going to double click on that and then I'm going to just type in here and save the file name. Plain Model version 01. We're going to save this as my binary and just hit Save As. Great. Right, now that we have this saved, I'm actually going to duplicate this with Control D. We now have two cubes out here. I'm going to just shut this one off. This is sort of my backup low poly. 
version. I'm going to hit H to hide that. All right, and then I'm going to go back and select my P cube one. I can double click on that and just call this plane one. Even this one is hidden right here. Let's go ahead and name that one too. Plane two. Great. Okay, so smoothing is going to increase the resolution on here. Let's look at how many polygons that we have on our mesh right now. I'm going to come under display, heads up display, and I'm going to come down to poly count. This is a nice thing to have up when you're modeling, especially if you're modeling for games and you're, and you're tracking the number of polygons that you're creating on a model. So right now we can see we have 92 vertices, 180 edges, and 90 faces. Great. This is pretty low resolution. Let's see what happens when we smooth this out and increase the resolution on it. I have the model selected. I'm going to come under Mesh and I'm going to select Smooth. Okay, now we can see what it's doing there. So we're getting those nice soft curves that we saw earlier when we were previewing with 3 on. Now we're beginning to see that in the actual mesh. We can also see what's happened over here. How many faces we have. It went from 90 to 360. We can take the divisions up even higher. We've got 2 and this is 3. I wouldn't really take it up much higher than that. This is a really high poly mesh now. Great. I'm going to hit Q to get out of that. Right mouse click and go back to object mode. I can always come back under my construction history and these are all of the things that I've done starting with the initial cube. The number of extrudes I've made which is 10 and the very last thing I did was put a poly smooth face on here. If I click on that under divisions I can see this is where I typed in 3. I can always go back and type a 0 in here and that's going to take it back down to the base mesh. Okay. One thing that's good to do is actually clean up our construction history first and then apply the smooth last. Let's do that. Under Edit, I'm going to go down to Delete by Type, History. You can see that just cleared out all the history on there. The other thing we like to do too before finishing up a model is what's called freeze transformations. We can see that I've moved things up here and scaled a little bit. Let's go ahead and zero everything out. So under Modify, I'm going to select Freeze Transformations and you can see that it zeroed everything out. So now the model's ready to be smooth. Let's come under Mesh, Smooth, select that, and again I'm just going to click, drag once, and go ahead and take it up to 3. And I'm going to hit Q to get out of that and select over here. Great. There's our model. It looks good. And we've also got our poly smooth face right here that we can always come back to if we want to change our divisions down to something lower. And we've also made a backup of our plane here, which is good to have as well. Okay, let's go ahead and save our scene. Under File, Save Scene. Okay. And that concludes this demo.